it was a new bridge over I-10, on and off in both directions, consisted of some retaining walls, 400,000 yards of total dirt excavation, and then ramps with some overlay on mainline I-10. It was a girder bridge weighing about 120,000 pounds each girder. The bridge also consisted of three drilled shafts at a total about 70 foot deep for the median pier. The asphalt overlay was about 9,000 tons, and then of course two abutments on each side. We had storm drains, we had PCCP concrete, we had electric. There were a lot of different tasks to complete this job. Fairway Bridge Project is just another piece of uh, our puzzle of growing the company and uh, showing uh, municipalities, the state, what we can actually do as a company. We don't have to get a different contractor or subcontractor to do our underground work. We don't have to get a different contractor to do the form work. We don't have to get a different contractor to do the concrete or the paving. We can do most of the disciplines in-house now. We needed to get a project like that underneath our belt and Roger and his team executed perfectly. They found a job, they estimated the job correctly, they went out and they built it, completed it, they made Sunland look good in the process, and uh, the owner, ADOT, is incredibly happy with the project we did. Safety played a big role in our project. Sunland's number one priority has always been safety. So we were constantly making sure everybody was wearing proper PPE. We were holding meetings, making sure that everybody was feeling good, not overworked, or in this case, with the heat. You know, they were keeping cool, making sure that everybody from ADOT all the way to our subs go home safely. Safety plays a role every day in every project we do, but specifically this project with the, uh, the added element of the bridge. We had to fly girders in, a lot of guys working up in the air. They were working over live traffic, so it definitely played a huge role. At the end of the day, we had a very safe uh, project, very few incidents, and we took a lot of pride in that. The project was about 14 months. We were able to complete it on time. We got all the bridge and everything constructed, and we even got the uh, rubber overlay on I-10 completed in that time frame. There were a few issues that we worked through, like if we had a rain, it might set us back a week. Nothing that we didn't work through and make up on our schedule. If it was needed to work overtime, we worked overtime. Whatever it took to stay on schedule, that was a top priority, because when you're planning, everybody's got to work together. You got to have that cohesive team to make everything work and flow to hit your schedules on time. Going from building minor structures to major bridges over the interstate uh, is a gigantic step. This is Sunland's first bridge. I pass it every morning and just to see it again standing over I-10 is awesome. We had a, a great mix between senior veteran players and a lot of energetic young people and uh, to see them uh, build that that bridge flawlessly uh, just really makes your heart warm. Yeah.